So, mm, I am half awake, barely. I just turned my light on to make this video. I'm just going to keep my eyes shut. I, because I learned that I can get the affirmations from a, any subliminal, highlight them, right click them, and put add to iTunes tr as a spoken track. So I've been listening, I made a playlist on iTunes. I've been listening to a certain one and something happened while I was in the dark because so I was just about to fall asleep just about to fall asleep and then this happens okay since it was pitch black in my room my whole entire room lit up with light and I'm like what? how? so I turn around I roll around and I see that my computer screen's on my computer was turned off and right before it happened literally right before I start feeling this tingly feeling in the tips of my fingers like energy just have you ever had it where your your hand or your foot or your leg falls asleep and you get that tingly feeling in your hand or any part of you well I got them directly at the tips of my and even doing this I can feel the energy still it's weird and I can't I can't explain it because the only way that my screen can turn on is if I press the brightness on my keyboard you, my my computer I have a wireless mouse and I have a setting on my computer where if I move the, because I don't have a, a screensaver, if I move the touchpad on my Mac, it doesn't turn the screen back on. You have to literally, if you turn the brightness down, because it doesn't go to screensaver, you have to press. In other words, my screen turned on and the only way to turn it on is to press the button. And I was on my bed looking at the wall it was it was facing towards the wall area and this isn't the first time this has happened before this has happened like on three other occurrences occasions and when it comes to electronics and people it's more of electrokinesis than it is telekinesis telekinesis is moving stuff with energy, with your electromagnetic field. Electrokinesis is manipulating electronics and electro and pretty much using the electricity in your body. Yes, we have electricity that surges through our veins, not our veins, our nerves, our nerve endings. It's mostly the reason I feel the fingertip thing is oh god my eyes are burning is because the tips of your fingers have the have t like tons of nerve endings in the tips of your fingers so if you're gonna feel a tingly sensation in the tips of your fingers you shouldn't be surprised or anything because that has a lot of nerve endings. That's why when something's hot and you touch it with your finger, you go ah, or whatever, what the fuck. It, and it burns you really fast and you feel it like right away. When I was just doing this, because that's how I was laying, I was like laying on the side with my hand like touching my face, going like this kind of. And that's when I felt it and that's when my screen turned on weird shit I wouldn't be surprised I mean what happened today in Safeway when I was with my mom all the self checkout stands broke at one time they malfunctioned all at the same time and I'm just like lunar eclipse energy and the, the, the weird thing I find about this lunar eclipse is that it was foretold in the Bible to happen 
at the state. I just wonder, how the fuck do all these things, how, how the fuck did people know back then? It had to be planned out in some way because how do you write a book knowing what's going to happen in the future and then it happens? I mean, some of the stuff in the Old Testament is complete bullshit. But there are interesting things in it too, if when you disregard the weird shit, like a flat earth, all the, uh, uh, a lunar eclipse on this date, and it's just like, how did, uh, who was the first person to write all this stuff down? How did they know? It has to be planned out, because there's no way someone could just know that these things are gonna happen. I, I seriously want answers, but I don't know where to go. I would love if some wise wizard kidnapped me and just told me all the secrets of the world. I mean, y you can't go through your life living where you just never ask any questions. You gotta ask questions sometimes. You know? I have a good point. What is wrong about asking how all these things that are happening now were written down centuries ago? We have to have some grand knowledge in our heads where we can see into the future somehow. It's called either astral projection, remote viewing, it has a name, it has a certain name. It's just amazing. I don't know. And what I just did where I was over here and that turned on, which it's never done before. I don't know. I just don't know. Yesterday to the 21st is when the eclipse is happening. So it's not going to surprise me for me becoming stronger psychically. Is that a good word? more clairvoyant it, it's not going to surprise me when i become more of these things and get stronger from now to the 21st because the 21st is when it's coming here where i live which i'm not going to tell you where i live i'll say california but in the middle east it happened yesterday and it's a full lunar eclipse in the middle east i believe but in cali where i live California it's supposed to be a partial lunar eclipse but it's still affecting everything and in the Bible yes I'm referencing the Bible it doesn't mean I'm a Bible freak it just means I'm referencing something that is inside the Old Testament I believe it's the Old Testament I don't know is that this date this area is supposed to be the largest change in human history but we don't even know how long human history has been because we're just told it we're just told what is what and we don't ask questions it's it's like how long has human history been all, all along oh I don't know because I've never been there I've never seen it and then I'll get that retard who says, well, seeing isn't always believing. And then I want to, like, cut that person and stab them. Because seeing is believing. You can manifest things and believe things until those thoughts become a reality. But it's good to be able to see those things as evidence and proof instead of just blindly accepting them. It's like... Oh, this person is smart for this reason because they did a bunch of math and they calculated a bunch of shit. So that makes them smart. Every single thing on this planet was created by a person or by a being of some sort. We just follow it. Doesn't mean you have to follow it, but we choose to follow it. You don't have to, though. Your choice. Everything's a choice. 